we now have a good idea of the dose range that we need to study. Now we're expanding, meaning increasing accrual to some of these dose levels to get an idea of the shape of the immune response uh, according to dose and time. Um, so that's where we are with phase 1A, but we do have an idea of the doses that we should study, so we're opening it up to phase 1B. The fundamental difference between phase 1A and 1B is the population of people who will be enrolling in the trial. Phase 1 consists of patients who have a history of triple negative breast cancer but are at risk for recurrence. Phase 1B will be patients who have no history of breast cancer but who are at risk to develop it. And that risk is sufficiently high that they often elect to undergo prophylactic or preventive mastectomy. And it's these patients who will be entered into phase 1B. Now we know what dose uh, we want to study. And this is a group of patients, those who are free of disease, uh, but who are at risk for the disease that we really want to aim this vaccine towards. The ultimate goal of this research trial is to develop a vaccine that could prevent breast cancer in people who are at risk. Uh, it's a lofty goal. Um, but that would be um, what we would hope for. There are a lot of steps to go through before that. There are a lot of ways this may not work, uh, but you know, it's one of those journeys of a thousand steps to, that has to start. So we're taking the first steps.